Maybe the, um, the, the first thing we should think about is, is the different sorts of rental contracts um, uh, that are existing in Spain and the possibilities of rental for your property. So realistically, if you're buying in a resort location, uh, the most likely possibility is that you'll be able to rent your property uh, for, for short-term lets, for holiday lets. Uh, if that is the case, then you would need to have a specific short-term rental contract and almost certainly you're going to want to contract an agency to, to look after the rental of your property. Most of those agencies will have a property management service as well, which will ensure that the property is looked after. The, the, the downsides, as in, as in anywhere, as in the UK, of renting your property short term are that it's a little bit more hassle, it's a little bit more work for you. Um, also, you uh, inevitably, you'll find that the property uh, suffers a bit more wear and tear than it would uh, with a longer term tenant. The upside is that the returns are normally quite good. Um, in those cases though, I'm almost certain that you're going to be able to find a good reputable local short-term rental agency that will be able to offer property management services. The advantage also of short-term rentals is it enables you to use the property when you want to. Moving on to the other sort of rental contract, which is probably more normal if you buy in a city location, it's a long-term rental contract. Now in Spain, that's normally a one-year contract, which is extendable up until three years. Um, normally the tenant will pay um, a, a, a deposit, uh, a deposit guaranteeing the payment of the rent, and a deposit as well guaranteeing uh, the safe return of the property in a good condition, and the fact that the furniture is in a good condition as well. In those cases, you can insist on contracting independent property management. Maybe if your tenant's coming from, uh, coming from abroad, they want a property management service. But as in the UK, generally you won't be using that property whilst the tenant's in place. So you do just really have to think about it when the tenant leaves in terms of making the property good again for your use.